Hi guys, so Parliament loves a bit of theatre and Pete Wishart of the SNP was and has been there to provide it. Now the First Minister of Scotland has got the ball rolling on a second independence referendum and Pete, like myself and others, know that Big Dog, or Boris Johnson, would do wonders if he was set loose north of the border. Scotland needs this Prime Minister. Scotland needs Boris Johnson, pleads Wishart. Enjoy this honest but fun speech by Pete. I don't know what those 140 Tory MPs were possibly thinking about. Don't they know that Scotland needs this Prime Minister? We've got a referendum to win and we need him in place because he's the best recruiting sergeant that we have ever had. So come on Tory MPs, think about the Scottish national interest and let the big dog roam free, unmuttered. <laughs> So first of all, then we'll get to the next part, but this is wonderful. Yes, Boris Johnson is a recruiting sergeant for Scottish independence. Um, I, and I said before, if there was just a poster, the SNP don't need to put up any policies for the referendum. They don't need to put up anything, just a poster of Boris Johnson. And then they will, they will convince even the most hardened unionist. So, Mr. Speaker, we need a debate about the opportunities Scotland can secure with being unshackled from yeah, this place. Yeah. Could you imagine any other successful, resource-rich country in the world being asked to forgo all its own internal democracy to be run by this place, this morally <laughs> bankrupt failed state? They'd be laughed all the way out of the United Nations. But that's what Scotland has, a prime minister who we didn't vote for doing things that we profoundly disagree with. Yeah. And, Mr Speaker, after that urgent question, we need a full debate about who should become the next ethics advisor to the, to the prime, prime Minister. Now, I know it's a tough job, but someone's got to do it. But think about it. The job security is good. And all you have to do is just to say that the prime, prime Minister is a very fine chap who always demonstrates the highest possible standards of behaviour. And he doesn't even like parting. That's all the new person has to do. And I'm sure this House could provide a list of candidates to fulfil that role in that post. My starter for Ted would be the Brexit Opportunities Minister, perhaps, or Machiavelli. How about Attila the Hun or Vlad the Impaler? <laughs> Mr Speaker, the stench and the moral decay of this failing government now stinks to high heaven, and this House wonders why Scotland wants to get out. The Scottish people are closely observing this place, and when they are given this opportunity to make a decision about the future, they will grab the opportunity with both hands. A wonderful speech, uh, as always, from Pete. Now, this idea that Parliament is rotten and the fish rots from the head. You know, Boris Johnson is responsible. Boris Johnson is responsible for government. He he represents it. And if the people is if the people of Scotland are looking at Westminster and saying, okay, for numerous on numerous issues, the fact that the members of Parliament are treated with nothing but contempt, and they can be members of Parliament within Boris Johnson's own party, the members of the SNP, the Labour Party, whatever. They're, they're treated with nothing but contempt. Parliament itself isn't treated with nothing but contempt. Um, Parliament has no power to hold Boris Johnson to account. Politicians have no power to hold him to account. And he will not hold himself to account. His party can't hold him to account. His party, 148, 149 MPs voted uh, against him recently. But he's still there. He lied to the Queen and he's still there. He lied to Parliament and he's still there. So the longer he remains in his position, the, the longer the rot will continue and the stronger the message will be in Scotland for independence. Whether you agree with it or not, you have to acknowledge that. Boris Johnson is the greatest asset for the SNP. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.